O M F G. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Long time ago, when DC was going in a direction that embraced only the parts of Watchmen that Jeff Johns liked, <laughs> they launched this book called DC Rebirth. And we did an episode of Back Issues on that book the day it came out. Mm, and so remember. it is with DC All In Special number one. This is a new, bold initiative by DC Comics. As of the taping of this episode, the book oh. is fresh off the presses. Ooh. And we're gonna talk about it and its implications for the future of DC. Also, this book is fun because there's an alpha and an omega section of this book. The fun part is you got two books for the price of one. You got the alpha special and you flip it over, you got the omega special. The alpha special is written by Joshua Williamson and Scott Snyder with art primarily by Daniel Samper and also Dan Mora. But if you flip it over, you get DC All In Special Omega number one, which is written by Scott Snyder and Joshua Williamson and art by Wes Craig and Dan Mora. Now these are two stories that are happening at the same time from two different perspectives mm. that meet in the middle and end on the same note. Is it the same okay. splash page? Yes. Oh, the, that's good. The last page is the splash page for both stories. And there's some fun elements where there's some crazy crap that happens that causes like the, the, the page themselves to burn in the alpha section so you can see through it into the omega section. You can see the art that's actually on the same page if you flipped it over. A lot, of, a lot of work and coordination went into this, and a lot of explanation and over-explanation needed to be done in order to actually articulate what the hell they wanted to do. Mm. So this is all in service to the all-in initiative, which was spearheaded by Scott Snyder and Joshua Williamson to give DC a new, bold direction to go in, and also spin off into the Absolute Universe. All That's right. the Scott Snyder version, which has the Absolute characters yeah, on the cover. Yeah, yeah okay. Now I should say, Josh Williamson also contributed to not only the story, but also the writing in both stories, as did Scott with, uh, with Josh's. Yeah, but if they work as a team, like obviously they're influencing each other. It absolutely, sense. no, it's true, it's true, absolutely. What if you read one page of one and then flipped it over and then read one page I think you'd next? lose your place. I think you'd be like, what? Wait, <laughs> what? you'd go insane. Yeah, you might. I feel like that's the best way though, because then every page is happening at this, you know, that's in true. order. Yes. That's it's true. like reading one story, then oh, read another story. You gotta go sweet. back in time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Wonder Woman a cool has a freaking cloud buster sword. <laughs> <laughs> she sure does. That's absolute Wonder Woman. The book that launches called Absolute Wonder Woman will be written by Kelly Thompson with art by Hayden Sherman from Scott Snyder's story from IDW, Dark Spaces Dungeon, which is one of the bleakest Scott Snyder stories ever. Mm. Just about a serial killer, no magic. Oh. It's just rough, Eesh. Okay. but Hayden Sherman did a great job and so he was on the radar and so it's like, oh, Hayden Sherman, how about you do this really crazy ass Wonder Woman? And the promotional art that they've released of it is just like so cool. And we'll get into the who the absolute DC characters are mm. after all this stuff, like the Dark Crisis, the multitude of mini events that happen at DC and wrapping up with a big event called Absolute Power, which if you can believe it, the heroes win at the end. Spoilers, but afterwards, uh, the character's like, what are we gonna do? Because after one of the stories, Dark Crisis, I believe, the Justice League is like, you know, maybe we should just like not. Like, can we like not? <laughs> what, and so they heroes? just don't. I don't no, no, they don't be a league anymore. Oh. And so as a result, the Titans rise and okay. fail. And so that happens. And at the end of Absolute Power, the heroes are like, we should have the League again, and it should be as big as it was in the cartoon series Justice League Unlimited. And we'll also spin out a book from that called Justice League Unlimited. And it'll be just like Justice League Unlimited. Are okay. we gonna call it Justice League Unlimited? Yep. Okay. So, and that's written by Mark Wade with art by Dan Mora, because Dan Mora is their golden child. Like we all told you it was going to happen. So even, when, when Once the Future came out, we were like, this guy is gonna get gobbled up and it's gonna go to whoever pays him more. Marvel mm. or DC, DC's like, me? And Marvel's like, who? <laughs> Cause that's Marvel to a T. Yeah. DC's like, ooh, look at this hot young talent. You're in. And Marvel's like, huh? <laughs> I, I, I feel like it's probably Marvel's like, I don't need to pay. 
We're not number one in the publishing industry because we're writing checks, you know what I mean? Because we're paying our talent ooh, what they are worth, okay? <laughs> Scott Snyder had been working on this with Josh for at least three years. Wow. Just developing this concept of essentially the Ultimate DC Universe. This is more like, how about we just birth the new Ultimate Universe for DC out of a big, complicated DC Comics event? Which is like how things are made in DC. Yeah, I was gonna say, they didn't do that with Ultimate. Marvel didn't do that. Hell no! <laughs> they just, it just started, no, right? in fact, Marvel did it in the reverse order. Because they were like, no, it's not actually connected at all. No, Marvel was like, the Ultimate Universe is not even in the multiverse. Yeah. It's two separate publishing lines. Then, of course, they did put it in the multiverse, and yeah. they went nuts. It's been a nonstop cavalcade of events from DC since Scott Snyder left DC in the first place, and yeah. now he's triumphantly returning mm -hmm. with this, which will it's also- an alternate universe. In tow. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. But using stuff that was set up mm -hmm. by Scott oh, Snyder. Does this have the dragon in it? <laughs> no dra How many dragons are in there? There are story? zero dragons in this story. Okay, you said, you said there are zero dragons there in this story. There are no dragons. There's a dragon-like thing, though? No, they reference the Forge of Worlds. Because, of okay. course, they do, because Scott's Scott back. Snyder wrote okay. So, okay. that's going to come up. Come on, what about the stuff that I made? Yeah, what about all that metal and stuff? Yeah, oh, is Batmanium in here? No, no one Batman says Batmanium. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is right. the Bat God part of it? Ba Barbados? Barbados? Yeah, Barbados? Not, no, no. Everyone is kind of like, we're kind of done. Are we done with Nth Metal? I don't know. They don't talk about Nth Metal, but we'll talk about okay. it later. So would you say this is similar to New 52 if the original universe kept going afterwards? Yes. Okay. Yes. Would you say this is the most dangerous comic book <laughs> of all time? Honestly, I, I think it's like a safe bet. I think it's a brilliant move. It's not dangerous in any way. Yeah. Because that, that was the problem with that New was 52, the, right? It, it, and that was the pitch. The pitch for the all-in and absolute universes was... Not, Didia would have said, New 52 done right. But New 52 done right by Didia would have been horseshit. <laughs> it just would have been everything done wrong. Mm -hmm. It would have been countdown two. But with this, it was, what if we did Rebirth and New 52 at the same time? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, uh, you sold me. Because I think that everybody who was on board for New 52 was looking for something new, fresh, and awesome, and beginning. But you also are alienating your DC fans, most of whom are DC fans, because of the decades of continuity. Yeah. So what are the premises of New 52 and Rebirth that are combining in this? Uh, Rebirth is homaging and paying respect to what came before while slapping a label on an initiative that would be imperceptible by today's standards. <laughs> like it's, New, Rebirth was like, cause Rebirth happened while the New 52 universe was still in place. So it was like, well, we're just trying to get back to post-crisis continuity in a New 52 world. And Rebirth is their way of saying, it's actually the same reality. And yeah, so actually none of that stuff went away. So none, of, so nothing went away. And yeah. actually you didn't lose anything. Except Jeff Johns in Doomsday Clock saying, no, New 52 is its own universe. Yeah. And uh, oops. So... Yeah, get, get out of here. Yeah, and Johns, <laughs> go make your ghost machine, Johns. <laughs> that was DC's response to that. By the way, John still works at DC, like, and not like as, a, if, as an employee, but like as a subcontractor. Mm. He makes the JSA book, which has no bearing on this whatsoever. Mm. Uh, because of course it doesn't, because neither does Three Jokers, because Jodorowsky is like, nope, here's something else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this is more like the DC universe is going to keep going, the absolute universe is going to go over there, and something's gonna happen right. between these two universes. Like, it's not just gonna it would be, go on spinning and we hope that people like working in it and reading it and mm -hmm. one day maybe they'll cross over. No, no, no. There is an inevitability between right. the prime DC universe and the new absolute universe. Right. And so, that is, we, the children of DC, are going to get beleaguered with gifts from either universe, <laughs> trying to win favor over the split parents. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I, I assume that what they wanted was for people to th think that absolute matters. Yes. Right, like, no, like you can't just ignore it. Yeah. Because it is part of it. Right, if you're reading regular DC, if you are going to read the all-in initiative, which is also just a publishing initiative, they're calling their ongoing line of books. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Batman is gonna have an all-in logo. 
on the latest issue, which also just starts a new arc, but part of the same run that Batman's had since, like, everyone's been on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not like we're starting over we're or not anything. Not starting over. No. But everything's going to have the All In logo, which means you can't get away from DC All In. That's right. Right. That's right. You're you reading All In. Yeah. Whether you're reading absolute stuff or... DC Regular stuff. stuff. Yeah. 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 So... Yeah. You will inevitably bump into the absolute universe whether you're avoiding it or not. So yeah, all the nice. books are included. That's yes. all in. It, yep. we're, and and also they called it all in. It's a good like, idea, right? And they're all in on the all premise. In. <laughs> like everyone is all in. Like they're right. all, they're they're throwing all their chips in. Everybody is like just just throwing everything at the wall. They're trying new things, and you know they're 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 putting pretty big matzo balls on the table here. And it's mm -hmm. like if you don't like it. Yeah, you know, it's gonna look real bad for us. So it is all in. Like an all in implies risk. <laughs> right. We're going all in on all in. Yes. Which we've got to say to me for three in. years. He's like, we're going all in, baby. And I'm like, well, how about like I don't know about all in. Yeah, I don't know if I would go all in. You want some kind of contingency? <laughs> no, 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 right? no, all in. No, no contingency, no backup. I will say. Uh, no, I've no been waiting B. for a winning hand this entire time. I just got dealt a royal flush off the bat. <laughs> I am all in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, look. Whether you didn't like the Batman who laughs or you loved him, he was financially successful. Mm. And if you don't like him, you're in the minority. Right. The, and when I say that, I mean the comic book buying minority. Right. You know, like yeah, the rest of the world doesn't really know it. They it doesn't. No, no. If they're not buying comic it. books, it doesn't matter. Right. What well, you think, yeah, exactly. So. The world doesn't even know what the hell that is. Except yeah. he also showed up in Fortnite, so I bet more people <laughs> who don't read comic books but played Fortnite know who the Batman who laughs is. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, That's so a weird thing to think about. I, I was just reading they have they had the other day 1.2 million concurrent subscribers at one point, like crazy. Yeah, and I that game is a monster. That, yeah, and it's old, <laughs> and it's just it's more popular than ever. It's free. Yeah, I could play it for nothing. Yeah. So all in special alpha number one opens about 52 days later. Haha, -ha, 52. Little homage. Mm. There's lots of little subtle later than what? Then absolute power. The event oh, that just ended. the one, okay. So, it started out as an idea, is what they say. Uh, they're going to expand the League. We already know Justice League Unlimited is coming. So, the uh, Trinity whips up this concept of these special ID cards. And these are no ordinary ID cards. Are these communicator cards? They are everything, Ben. They're everything. Eat your heart out, Avengers, and your lame ID cards that also are phones or something in the 80s. No. <laughs> yeah. The Justice League... Unlimited ID card is super special and new and awesome. And also we have one because <laughs> comic book stores are gonna be provided with multiple Justice League ID cards. If you buy more than three DC books, it entitles you to an ID oh. card. Okay, so this one's Batman's. I, I oh, get you gotta this, collect them all. And now I can communicate with people or I can use it as a computer or it'll make my dinner for me or file my taxes. <laughs> or... I'll tell you what went into the cards and you can decide what it can do and Does what it can't stats? do. Does he have stats? Can I see Batman's stats? No, I that guess, would, I that guess you would wouldn't be have a, that on your ID card. card. I wouldn't want that. that would be my intelligence degrading. is a three. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does have your Welcome stats. Welcome to the league. Height, weight, How do you color? know what my intelligence is? <laughs> How do you know what my agility is? I and what scale brain. are you using? <laughs> we scanned you. <laughs> What? I know everything about yeah, when you. you when you came through, I know more through, about you than your own mother. When you came through the teleporter, we scanned your entire physiology. Yep. We know when you're gonna die. Yep, I have your DNA, your genetic code. I could make another one of you right now. I did. In yeah, order I, for you teleport I, I here. Need, I need I had to kill you. Yeah, I'll put your brain in there if you ever die. Yeah, no, you'll thank me later. By the way, they do have a space station watchtower. It's gonna be bigger to fit all the superheroes because they're basically inviting everybody. Mm. But uh, they use boom tube technology. So they're not killing you and making a copy of you on oh, the space station. Okay. Yeah, they're opening up little portals. It's a little hole in space or something. So here's how they made the ID card. There is a there is a rating. He's got a power level. He's an S75. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Out of what? Yeah. I mean he's Batman, but Superman also is there. So like We gotta get more of these cards. We gotta compare them. So go to your local comic book store and pick up a copy. He's got By the way, universal that's access. Brilliant. Well, yeah, he's Batman. He's finally a member of the league. But also. One day they're going to release your own card, a blank card. Oh, so you, you can fill in your are own invited stats. to the league. Yeah, yeah, you can fill in your own stats. <laughs> Meta human designate. Yeah, I, I saw that too. Hero. It just says hero. Yeah, I guess as opposed to like superhero, superhero. or wizard. <laughs> <laughs> or, or crime fighter. Crime. Is there going to be a villain card? 
I don't know. It, no, I assume it means like it, alien. Like Superman would be alien, and oh, someone else yeah. would be like mutant. And Batman's just well, he's not any of those, so we just call him a hero. Right. Exactly. Hero uh, is a nice he, way of saying no powers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, none. <laughs> meta human doesn't. And a. It, and a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not a meta human. And Batman's the first one that they made, so they were like, uh, let, let's 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 use a nice term for yeah. for NA. He's a yeah. hero. Yeah, and and who could argue? Oh, with like, that? A, like a firefighter. Gonna, someone's yeah. gonna get the word sidekick on theirs, and they're gonna just quit. <gasps> they're not sidekicks. No, everyone who's invited, you're a Justice Leaguer. Yeah, I mean, you don't even you get a card a if you're a sidekick. Yeah, no, <laughs> you have to stay in the lounge. Yeah, you're a leaguer, but you're a bench warmer leaguer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this got a this got a tier. He's alpha tier. What does that mean? Well, I think. I well, mean, this is the alpha. That's the alpha section. issue. But yeah, I feel like alpha is the top, right? Right, because he's Batman. Well, well he's a founding member of the Trinity. That's that's yeah. right. Alpha's the beginning, Omega's the end, but like the Omega Beam is like the ultimate. That's true. <laughs> yeah, don't get too in the weeds yeah, about the Alpha. It kind of breaks down. When yeah. you get anyway, so a lot of technology went into making these cards that are also printed on cardboard. <laughs> that says uh, Steelworks, Wayne Tech, Queen Industries, and Terrificek built the hardware. The technology needed to house it. They used alien technology from Krypton and Thanagar, powered by the Speed Force, pulled together by John Stewart's architectural mind. And Green Lantern willpower. So uh -huh. all and yeah, everyone worked on it. Then yes. Wonder Woman blessed it by the gods and infused it with magic, uh -huh. along with characters like Zatanna and Swamp Thing. The Just League had always been made up of the best of us, so the cards had to be made up of the same. So these cards are infused with magic and super tech and I alien guess that means, tech. And alien stuff. <laughs> that means Superman can't use his. Right. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, yeah, well, oh, there's magic in this? Oh, no. Oh, no wonder I'm itchy. But they talk about like what the card can do at the initiation meeting. But uh, oh, what they were is also that? like, well, we'll get into it. But uh, okay. Superman is also like, I guess I'll deliver these cards, but the cards can also deliver themselves because they are magic. So they basically just go <laughs> to wherever they are needed at the time that they are needed. Oh. So they just appear before characters. Wait, is the card sentient like. Like mother box? It, yeah, is it, it a mother box? It knows when and where to go just on its own? Uh, or does a leaguer have to be like, oh no, you're going to like Starfire now? Right. No. It's more like the former than the latter. It goes to where it is needed and also... Like, like so, a Green Lantern ring. Like a Green Lantern ring, hmm. but also like a mother box. But they don't mention New Genesis as technology, which I find interesting. Mm -hmm. But also I guess that makes sense for what happens later. Okay. So <laughs> we get a little montage of like all the crap that happened. You could basically name every event. Dark Crisis, Lazarus Planet, Night Terrors, Beast World, all... Uh, Absolute power. So you just see like little reminders, of, like all the crazy crap that happened to them that's led to this point. Like we've, we've had a lot of events lately. We've had a lot of events, and, we're, and we understand that we're basically asking you to buy into another a, event, a year-long event that has no first issue or end issue. It's just going to be an initiative. Mm. So uh, anyway, get excited about seeing some of your favorite characters getting cards or telling the league to stuff it, like Robot Man from the Doom Patrol being like, nah, or Damien being like, hoo hoo. That's lame. And you're like, right. Yep. Meanwhile, Starfire and Blue Beetle being like, sweet! <laughs> Front row. Yep. Checks out. So, like, every hero you've heard of gets one of these cards. Every hero you've heard of and not heard of. <laughs> like who? Like Booster Gold. I've heard of Booster Gold. <laughs> yeah, but if it weren't for me, you wouldn't. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Metamorpho gets a card. I vaguely remember hearing the word Metamorpho. I'll be hearing Metamorpho's name a lot more because he's appearing in the Superman movie. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Great. Okay. <laughs> I don't not like Metamorpho. I am ambivalent to Metamorpho. Okay. So Yeah, but now Metamorpho is going to be crammed down your throats, and you're going to hear like, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hearing all about Metamorpho. <laughs> yep. So Superman's like, even though the cards can deliver themselves, there's some people who deserve a hand touch. They need to be handed mm. the, the... And so we see Booster Gold, and he's saving some kids from fire, and Skeet's like, great job, Booster! Oh, man, oh, we'll stay for some selfies. He's like, no, Skeets, forget it. No, 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 no. This is, this is just being a hero. I'm saving these kids. No time for social media posts. I, I have made my decision. And Skeet's like, well, at least pose for a selfie with these kids, because the kids are asking for it. And he's like, okay, fine. Guy Gardner sucks! And they're all like, yeah, Guy Gardner sucks! <laughs> and then he flies away, and as he's... He, basically, Booster's like... I think my like run at the DC universe has reached its conclusion. Like I'm from the future. Maybe I should like should just go home. Maybe I should just go the f home. I think I want to go out on top. Right. Like I, I you know what? I, I was the star of 52, arguably one of the greatest DC events of all time, and that was like over a decade ago. 
Like, what has Booster Gold done lately? Oh, that's right. I was in Heroes in Crisis. Yeah, I should get the F out of here. <laughs> people remember me for basically three things. I was vaguely related to 52 because most people didn't read it. I got my ass handed to me by Doomsday. I got my super suit ruined. Mm -hmm. And that's the only source of my powers. And I got beaten by Harley Quinn in Heroes in Crisis. <laughs> Bros oh. before Heroes. So... I think I'm gonna get out of here. And as he's contemplating leaving, Superman appears and he's like, listen, Booster, I didn't hear that whole conversation even though I hear everything on the planet. <laughs> and I just want you to know, maybe I did, I'm trying to like soften. Yeah, I'm just like, whoa, that's, that was the conversation he was having. Exactly, I don't- Sure I can yeah. eavesdrop, but I'm not gonna let him know he's <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't help it, okay? Be lucky have it's just me. I always have to listen for Lois's heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm constantly actively listening. So anyway, he's like, listen, you're a good guy, you are a true hero. Every time I've seen you actually like try instead of being booster gold, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> like instead of being like a douche nozzle, every time I you actually like- the idea that like, as long as you're not yourself, you're an okay guy. Well, as long as we just remove everything yeah, about your personality I, I, so that you're not even really booster gold anymore, that's not too bad, Yeah, right? Well, I, I feel like as far as Superman's concerned, it's like, your persona of Booster Gold is the problem. Yes. But you he doesn't think say of this that. as like a stunt. Well, and it yeah. is. You like need you, to pull it back. Because he used to be like a janitor in a superhero museum in the future. Right. And then he stole a bunch of technology and then went back to the back to the past and was like, I'll be a superhero here because I could cheat. Because I have the technology. Yeah. And I yeah. have the technology. Because to them yeah. I am. Yes. As far as those stupid people know, the right? lame 20th century technology. Exactly. People think Sideways is a hero. Nobody even knows what the hell that is anymore. So I'm down. Oh, so Superman's like, anyway, we're building a league bigger. Here's your ID card. And Booster's like, O-M-F-G. <laughs> this is it. I'm back, Yeah, reason baby. to stay. Well, not just that. No, Booster recognizes the card. And he's like, so let me level with you, Superman. This card... Not this card with my name on it, with my stats and everything. By the way, he is an S40. Oh. Uh, booster Gold. 75? What's his tier? Gamma. Gamma. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> so wait, there's Alpha, Beta. Does it go straight to Gamma after no, that? No, Delta. No, Delta. Should be a yeah. Delta in there. Yeah. I assume it's not necessarily about like ranking, although it is. It's although more it's about, definitely like, about ranking. What it's not a coincidence that Batman's Alpha. D yes. <laughs> and why and booster, booster Gold's Gamma. gamma. <laughs> At least it's not Omega. Yeah, it, but, that's below D list if Delta's in there. Although yeah, if, that, that, if it's that, the fourth one down, I guess it would be D list. That tracks. Equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, D, yeah. But also, we're not gonna make Booster Omega because that also sounds too cool. Too. That's too cool. Yeah. No. Look, also, Omega's the last resort. You don't want Booster as a last resort. You want him as like a fifth ring. You know, like <laughs> he also is there. Right. Like he's going to be on like The last resort nights. we actually depend on. He's got to be somewhere at the level where we just like, yeah, I mean, that's not going to work, but yeah. we'll throw him out there anyway. Yeah, cannon fodder. <laughs> like if Doomsday's here, obviously we're not going to throw you at first. I know what Booster Gold looks like against Doomsday. Right. What's his metahuman designate? Also hero. Yeah. I guess because he doesn't. Because he's a human. Because he is a human in a power a human. suit. Yeah. But look, his access, limited. Lim <laughs> oh my God, that card is so brutal. <laughs> Man, he shouldn't have had he that realization know. until now. He just got it. Yeah. But he's also like, no, these, this, the, okay, so the card actually, the, there's there's another card that the Just League creates, and they have it in the Watchtower. One card to rule them all? No, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? I mean, where is this going? Right, right, and you'll you'll see. But yes, because also that's kind of like a, like a, like a Chekhov's gun. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's coming. Yeah. Uh, down the line. Mm -hmm. But, uh, as far as Booster Gold's concerned, like there is this card, because the Just League created this card that represents the next member. Like our ranks mm -hmm. will grow, mm -hmm. people will join, and this card is gonna be here in the Watchtower. In the future, where Michael's from, that card is there in the museum. Oh, the blank oh. card. The blank card. So it represents this hope. This is the period, like it's basically the heroic age of DC. Like this is the moment where everything turns around and everything gets brighter and and leads towards what we can imagine the future of like the Legion of Superheroes will be. Wait, did that card, was that previously a thing or are they retconning that? Retcon, ah, retcon. Card. So yes. Okay. Yeah, we were retconning that that card is there at all. That's fun though. Oh That's sure, yeah. Like and that. it's fine, it doesn't fly in the face of anything. No one's gonna complain about the card. Yeah. But uh, Booster talks about some like constants in the timeline that he recognizes. A couple of them are like, 
Batarangs. They're all, there's always a Batman. There will always be like remnants of Batman. Mm -hmm. The Forces of Solitude, Green Lantern's rings, Booster's Legionnaire ring, which represents like the, the brighter future of the Legion of Superheroes, and the membership card. Mm. And so I'm lucky to be here and I'm excited to be part of this. So she's like, okay, I'm not, ba I'm not bailing on the, on, on the present. Let's go. Okay. So who's on the league? I know it's like, gonna be you, Batman, Wonder Woman, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what other five characters are you gonna get? Like well, how, how exclusive how is this club? Is this exactly. Oh, I've got about seventy-five so far. Well, it's it's hundreds. <laughs> you know, it's, it's better. It's everyone. Like yeah. everyone is invited. So at the Watchtower, it's like this new, cool space station, completely unique and different and exciting. And you see, like that they've built up. Where did like, it come from? Oh, it was built by uh, who? I assume, I assume the same people who made the card. I mean, like, honestly, <laughs> I guess usually, Batman. usually Batman, but yeah. he had been broke, but... Oh, right. Spoilers, he gets his money back. Thanks, Here? Chip. Uh, no. Oh, before this. Yeah, Zdarsky sets up a story where he's like, oh, I'm a trillionaire again, yay. yay. And, okay, was, good, you can build us a new watchtower. Yes, and, <laughs> oh, great, I'm broke again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, you, can, you can see, like, Ted Cord being like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Because Court Industries cannot support that bill. <laughs> I talked a big game. I also noticed that Court Industries is not involved in the tech that we built the card, but oh. uh, it doesn't matter. But I mean, like, look, Mr. They Drake can't all be in there. Can't. Or maybe it is and that didn't make the page. It didn't make the, the narration. It's off panel. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I was so excited when I was reading that book and I'm like, yay, he's got his money back, finally. Yay, we dispensed with that. Not great idea. There's, there's actually like a bunch of like remnants from like the Tynan era going onwards that were like, let's just shake up this monkey tree. Let's try all kinds of crazy stuff. Hey, right. look at this. Like, you know how there's a mayor in Gotham and it's always different because the mayor is either kidnapped or murdered <laughs> and only Mayor Kroll from Nightfall is remembered because he was a plot device used in the Joker Scarecrow story and like, that's it? Well, how about Mayor Nakano and he's dope and he's got an eye patch and he's so distinct. Well, in the issue that dropped on the same day as this, he died. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> and not that I necessarily had a problem with Mayor Nakano, <laughs> but I'm more like, the mayor doesn't matter. I'm not interested. Yeah. The mayor is incidental. Yeah, and he's a background character in Gotham. Exactly. The mayor is supposed to be either breathing down Gordon's neck mm -hmm. or Shaking getting out Alan's of Batman's babies. way. Yeah, he just doesn't get involved. He doesn't have a name. Head. The mayor. He's, he's the, the mayor. mayor. The mayor's I'm gonna have my ass if Do I don't Do you know how like... many different mayors Gotham should have considering how many times they either get kidnapped, killed, yeah, or like just, just, just skip town? Like the second the Joker like rears his ugly head, it's like, oh, well, I'll be right back. In the Beautiful press conference and someone mentions, what about the Joker being back in town? There's rumors Joker escaped? Um, I don't know, one sec. And he just walks off stage <laughs> and then he just, yeah, he just hears No more questions. <laughs> I think he's coming back. <laughs> Presumably Batman helps, he pitches in. There's no mm. way he doesn't. So, yeah. And I, I guess they paid a company to build it. I, I assume. Like, Maybe, maybe. Where do these things come from? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cyborg. Space just say cyborg. Station. Yeah, it, it takes the resources of multiple countries to build something like that today. Yeah, and, it, and it's like half, it, not even half the size. It's like one one hundredth of the size of this thing. Yeah. The real space station. Right, yeah. And, and it doesn't even work. It should take the resources of the entire world. Multiple worlds. <laughs> it, we, we, we robbed 10 Earths in the multiverse, we took all of their money, the Earth's money. I also took their space stations and combined yeah, into one giant one. Space you know how many resources is required? Right? It's not. So anyway, they got boom tube tech, and also you know they they got magic and science powering the station. It's just it's you know the station's also a monument, like the card itself. Oh great! So you can destroy it if you know either one of those things. Yeah. So like if Abracadabra shows up, he can like cast a spell and then turn the damn space station inside out. Uh, but also, don't worry because they got, anyway. they've got the question. Uh, she's running security at this point, so it's like oh. you know, you'll never get past her. Interesting. Uh, so then everybody's there at the big meeting, and basically they're like, "Yeah, so absolute power was a shit show for us, uh, but we're back and we're bigger than ever, and we're, we've made a league, and it's going to be huge, and we're going to go on many adventures." And Mark Wade's got lots of ideas, I'm sure, and we're all going to look great because Dan Moore is going to draw it. <laughs> uh, but as it stands, Daniel Samper's depiction of the league is pretty awesome as well. But uh, you know, it's a veritable who's who in the DCU. Oh boy, and uh, they talk. About the, the blank card that represents the next member. Booster Gold, of course, stopped for hot dog, so he is late, like Superman asked him not to be. <laughs> uh, so he shows up and he's like, there's the blank card! Oh boy! <laughs> yes, so, we talked about it already 20 yes, minutes ago. the card. Uh, I yeah, but now out. I get to see it! Yeah. This is why you're Gamma Tier. 
<laughs> there is no other Gamma tier. Like, yeah, Booster Gold is Gamma tier. <laughs> hey, anybody else Gamma? Well, we should get the Gammas. We should get a selfie of the Gammas. Uh, I'm, I'm Delta. Delta. <laughs> everybody everybody else Delta? Everyone sorts into groups. There's all these groups, and he's just standing by himself. And there's one Gamma. <laughs> Yeah. At least I got you, Scoots. Uh, actually, I'm Delta as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more useful. Yeah, Skeets can travel through time. He has an internal database of that has pentabytes. Oh. <laughs> you have powers. You're not a you're not a hero designate. You're basically a cyborg because you're sentient. <laughs> All right. So this is the time where a supervillain should attack. And yeah, he does. No heroes anywhere? Oh God. Oh yeah, not Earth. Though. On Earth? Yes, they should. Yeah, just be like, are you kidding me? You could steal City Hall! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so while Mr. Terrific is like, just just splooging all over this card and how great it is, uh, it starts to like, it makes like crazy oh. sounds. Oh. And then suddenly there's oh. this crackle of energy and everyone's like, oh, uh, something's going on, something's not right. Uh-oh. Skeet's like, according to my records, this did not happen at the big meeting. And <laughs> Bo that, yeah, Booster's like, yeah, I know. Thank right. you. I would remember if it, that happened. And then you see that like the magic characters start freaking out. And they're speaking upside down. Oh. Because the things that are affecting them are happening on the upside down part. <gasps> or the right side up part. But Ooh. yeah. So uh, Zatanna oh, says. I thought it was just Zatanna talking backwards. Yeah, no, no, it's that's why it's upside down. Uh, but Zatanna says, finally I will know the truth. And Hal Jordan says, because you will tell to me Jim Corrigan the Spectre. And you're like, whoa, what? Ooh. And then all the magic characters are losing their shit and they're like, Dark side is and will be. And meanwhile, Wonder Woman's like, uh, the Spectre? What, are, what does this have to do with the Spectre? Uh -oh. And then uh, people start blasting Omega Beams out of their faces. <gasps> and you can see that like there's holes in the book. And that's happening like on the complimentary upside down part of the book. Oh my god. So you can see like there's Dark Side and some crazy shit with the Quintessence. You're like, whoa, whoa, what? So Everyone's See, freaking out. That's how out. powerful the Omega Beam is. It's burning holes in this book. Exactly. Uh, the boom tube technology, which is for New Genesis, so at least that's done. But I was mm. like, why isn't there New Genesis technology in the card? But I bet there is. I bet it's secret or something. Mm. Yeah, but, they don't uh, like to talk about it. Right, yeah. <laughs> so the uh, the boom tube explodes, and then Darkseid blasts out of there, wielding an axe for an arm and wearing a cloak. What? And, and from that, Superman immediately goes, Darkseid has bonded with the Spectre? And I'm like, I mean, I wouldn't have jumped to that conclusion. To me, what? But that is what Does happened. Does the Spectre have an ex axe for an arm? No, that's incidental. Did that's he just, ever use Just the cloak axe? then. No, no, this is just, he needed to cut off his arm and replace it with an axe because it's more badass and cool that way. I mean, he's going to have to be really careful when he sneezes. That's right. <laughs> he just <laughs> shoot, bisects Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn it, Darkseid is an wrong idiot. Hand, wrong hand, Hand. <laughs> so everyone's like, oh shit, if Darkseid has merged with the Spectre, he is death itself and we are effed. It's like, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. no, Darkseid merged with the Spectre, that is way OP. Yeah. And at this point you is go- Is that the anti-life equation? No, the forget Spectre? about- Spectre? Forget about the anti-life equation. <laughs> Darkseid has already gotten it a thousand times. We're done with that stuff. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. And I, I remember like when Scott was like noodling this idea. He's like, so we need this great evil that's going to come out of here, and it's got to be Darkseid. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, because Darkseid was also chained up by the great darkness and uh, dark crisis. So, I mean, it feels like we're kind of dark sided out, but if you got a great big dark side story, I guess that could work. And it, it, honestly, it, it's pretty cool. Okay. But also, like, here he is again. He's, getting, he's, he's showing up a lot. It's just, we've seen him a lot, and he's always that. Like, there was a moment in Absolute Power, in a tie-in, where Batman and Catwoman are bebopping and scatting all over <laughs> space, and they end up bumping into Darkseid. And Catwoman is like, who is that? And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's fair that Catwoman wouldn't have encountered Darkseid. Yeah. And Batman uncharacteristically goes, he's death! <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I don't buy that. No. I don't want to get sent through time again. And that's I really think what that's it is. It, yeah. He has PTSD from having to deal with yeah, being written by Grant Morrison. Yeah, you a thousand times, but that didn't happen. And also, you've never responded like that. Like, yeah. you've never been like, but I guess maybe he's concerned for Catwoman. Yeah, it's he's like, like, well, you're here. I can't protect you. Right. Well, it's like, you're you're dead. Like, <laughs> you're already a corpse. It's over. I have contingencies, but none of them involve protecting, like... Catwoman a, from an yeah. Omega-level threat. Yeah. So anyway, they, the, the heroes are like, well, Darkseid's on our front doorstep, let's kick his ass. And Darkseid's like, maybe you can explain it. You can explain the surge that I felt. And so uh, they're, they're screaming and yelling about like surges and temporal fields and tachyons and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And the epicenter of 
the energy surge that brought Darkseid here in the first place is located at the card. And the card is like crackling with this crazy dark energy. And Booster Gold sees the card and he's like, no, <laughs> that thing that I care a lot oh. about suddenly, that I always did care about actually, uh, <laughs> it's, it's ruined. Like it, it's, this was not supposed to happen. And Skeet says, the future has changed and we can't go home now. Oh, you're stuck here. Now, another element of the card is that because it's infused in this crazy shit, it will also augment your powers. It will oh. give you the defenses you need against the threat levels that you encounter, which also makes any street level character that's joined them kind of weird and different, which also requires the writers of those stories to remember that they have the card. We have to assume, that I guess, they just leave it in a sock drawer when they're doing these things. Because when Batman needs to encounter Darkseid, he suddenly is wearing like this crazy new bat armor that just appeared out of nowhere. And I can imagine a, a version of the story where everyone's just throwing themselves at Darkseid and Batman is in a broom closet putting on his cool new armor, just <laughs> quietly and hurriedly to himself. Like, oh, do I have time for the special bracers or should I just put those on later? No, you know what, there's no time for this bracer, let's just go. And so he, but the card though, so the card's like, whoomp, now I have armor and you'll never see it again unless it's in a McFarlane figure. And he's like, let's go, booster, get your head out of your ass. Stop looking at that card. Well, who gives a crap about the card right now? Even though I'm using it to become more powerful, let's go. You know, the card's the most important important thing in the universe. It's the most important <laughs> artifact that I never mentioned. That's right. So let's go. <laughs> and so everyone's just like dogpiling on Darkseid. Yep, dogpiling Darkseid. Yep. Well, I mean, if, if it gives the power they need for Darkseid and there's all of them, yeah. they should be able to take care of him no problem. Yeah. Well, that's true. And so everyone's dogpiling on Darkseid. Darkseid's like, just tell me. Just tell me what's been hidden from me, you guys. Come on. I didn't come here to there's fight. A, there's a big, no, I mean, like, I'll take it. Oh, I will. He literally says, no, if you want to fight, I'll bring it. <laughs> It's my hands, man! I mean, you guys didn't attack Aquaman when he made a harpoon! <laughs> That's a violent instrument of destruction, just like his axe. Violent. This axe actually has practical purposes. If I want to chop wood, I can do it! Yeah, well... What's Aquaman a harpoon for other than killing? Aquaman never enslaved humanity. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that. <laughs> but I, he didn't do it with his harpoon hand, nor did I do it with my axe It's not hand. about the axe! You're dark side! Oh, yeah, that's true. The axe and just I makes merged, it worse. And I merged the specter. Yeah, what happened to the specter, man? Where's the specter? Oh, he's in me now. Like, I'm the specter. I'm the, I am death itself. Can I, can I talk to him? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. So he's dead. I mean, he's in me. No, no he's not dead. He's in me. Mm. So anyway, uh, this is where the book is about Superman, because uh, mm. it started to be about Booster Gold, and, like, Booster Gold's clearly the main character of the story. Well, he's, but, like, the ride-along character. Yeah, and that's really it. Like, because it, 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 the book wants to, Superman to be the protagonist of the story, but also it's obviously Booster Gold. Like, Booster Gold is the ride-along character. He's the point-of-view character, but also Superman is just, like, on every page. If, yeah. Well, if I people... can't have it be Robin anymore. He's young. My readers are older. They, they need someone their age. <laughs> like Booster Gold. Like Booster, Booster Gold. Gold. No, it's just, it's about Booster Gold. And Booster Gold's like, you know, he's from the future. He should know that this happened. He mm -hmm. didn't, so it's obviously super surprising. Right. Uh, so, so he may not be able to go back to his future, but he, can he go back to, like... A future? Sure, he can. Yeah, well, anyone can go to the future, but yeah. like, the, but it won't be his friends won't be there. No, and uh, or if, they'll be wrong. And if the future isn't what it was after Darkseid showed up and merged with the Spectre, it's probably not a good future to go back to anyway. Mm. So while that's happening, uh, Zatanna mentions that like, essentially, Darkseid isn't fully merged with the Spectre. There's still like a chance that we can separate the Spectre from Darkseid, mm. and so. We need to like, infuse our magic powers into Superman because we're not going to make Booster Gold punch Darkseid. That'd be boring and people would be like, oh man. Come on. I future. didn't pay for that. Yeah. So Superman is infused with magic powers and so he's able to battle Darkseid and hopefully separate Darkseid from the Spectre while, you know, like Diana wraps up Darkseid in her lasso of truth and whatnot. Uh, Darkseid, of course, is like, Diana of the Amazons, men may fear your lasso of truth, but not Darkseid. The truth is all I was after this day. Mm hmm Right. I don't have anything to hide from you anyway. Exactly. The so, truth is, I want to kill you. I always do. I'm a, I'm a jerk. Have I? I'm an asshole. Yeah. Killed oh, anyone on know? this station yet? No. Could I have? Yes. So maybe stop and listen to me for a second. So then Superman blasts Darkseid with all of his energy and kills Darkseid. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Darkseid goes, thank you. Darkseid ends and then explodes. And there's a huge, massive wave of energy that leaves the Watchtower and throughout the universe. But there is a crack, not unlike the crack in the multiverse oh, from no. the Infinite Frontier, 
but don't think about that too hard because this is a crack that like is more like the tear in reality that was in that one season of Rick and Morty. Oh. Where they're like, hey, remember that, that big crack in the sky that they left? Right in the middle of the watchtower, which also like I guess is physical because the watchtower does orbit. I think it's a it's in reality. Yeah, yeah. But it can't be in a building, it's through reality. But like whatever. So like anyway, there's this big tear in reality in the watchtower over the card, which now crackles with energy and uh, and is also kind of like dark and crazy and malformed, and we'll see that it also is altered as a result. What does it say as the power level? Oh, it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> we don't get to see it, unfortunately. Which tier is it? Right. Is Darkseid's face on it now? It's not. It's not like, is yeah, Darkseid's in the card? <laughs> he's not in the card. Let me out. Well, maybe he's in the card, actually. Then I think about it. But <laughs> who knows? So they're like, where's Darkseid? We got to look for Darkseid. All right, guys. Uh, the, the party is over. <laughs> Superman's like, the, you're not going to find him. I blew him into a million pieces. Well, no, he's like, I don't know where Darkseid is. Like, he exploded, but like, who, when does that stop? Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. That means exploded at least three times. <laughs> <laughs> so Orion is like, well, I'll go back to New Jersey. Wait, Ryan's there? Oh, yeah, because he's a member of the League now. Oh. And he helped out with the boom tube technology and stuff. So he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I've, I'm hearing crazy shit, so I'll go check it out. I'll be right back. I'm going to leave the book. But you can see the card now has an Omega symbol on it. Oh, that's Darkseid's symbol. Yeah. And Batman, of course, notes that the membership card was at the epicenter of Darkseid's attack and has absorbed some of his anti-life energies and acts as a doorway now. Ooh, a doorway to what? That's what, Bat that's what Superman literally says. <laughs> And so, uh, presumably to the planet, right? Right. Yeah. How would you know that, Batman? Well, he, well, because I'm because From I'm a twelfth level it. intellect or something. Yeah. Because I'm the second uh, smartest man in the world. Oh, look at my fucking card. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge access Says universal. Alpha you don't get right alpha there. level status without knowing a few things about where <laughs> cards infused with antimatter technology can lead you. I don't need these questions coming from a fucking gamut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the entire purpose behind this is just so they can have a, you know, we need tears. We need tears. Booster Gold should not be able to question Superman. Yes. I don't have time for that. Yep. So I, it's easier if he just has a designation that proves that. Yeah, well, that, that, that helps him regulate himself. <laughs> <laughs> or let's the league regulate itself so that so people like, can know what Green place Arrow can be they like, should be Excuse me, in. Booster, but uh, you're a Gamma tier. This is for Alpha tier. Yes, this is Alpha tier Todd. And then Wonder Woman's like, and you're Delta, so get out of here, Ollie. <laughs> oh, last I checked your card, though. <laughs> Except Joshua Williamson helped write this, so definitely Ollie is Alpha Tier. So anyway, we, they also refer to a bunch of things that you may have forgotten about from previous stories like Infinite Frontier, Dark Crisis, or Dark Knight's Metal. There is still a multiverse and it's thriving, but also we can't just go to it anymore because Into the Spider-Verse 3 isn't coming out for another four years or something. So we can <laughs> we just don't need put to do that the multiverse on a shelf and then revisit it when the general population is referring to multiverses again and they're not so yeah, jaded when the hits by... Come back. Yeah, because like the MCU tried the multiverse and nobody's happy with it. So what's the way for Spider-Man to get the multiverse back? And then we can start talking about it again. But in the meantime, the multiverse is cut off because people are just complaining online about how the multiverse sucks. So we're cut off from the multiverse. We can't access what it anymore. What about that ship? Can that ship go but Oh yes, yes. So this the uh, the authority ship. Yeah. Yeah, but the authority ain't here. I mean, they are, but uh, like they're not. So they could go between universes still, but well, but okay. I can't just so go there. I don't even know if the authority is even working right now. Like Jenny Sparks is her own book, and it's technically in continuity, and she ain't on the authority. Mm. Also, that ship is like. Well, okay, let's put it this way. The Justice League Incarnate still has their harmonic frequency ship mm -hmm. after, because absolute power is actually what caused the separation between the multiverse and the prime reality. And so there is no access to the multiverse from the Justice League. But Justice League Incarnate is still bouncing around in their harmonic frequency ship, keeping an eye on the multiverse. Okay. So they could access it, but they can't come here because there's, it's separated now. Also, they don't have cards. They don't have cards. They weren't invited. <laughs> Okay, so they can go throughout the multiverse, but not to Prime Earth. That's right. Or they could, but they're not going to. But they're not going to. They're well, because, choosing not to, so you're not going to see them. No. Well, because the, A, they're boring. B, who cares? And also, <laughs> C, you know, they rarely do. Like, the Justice League Incarnate... Right, they wouldn't anyway. Justice Incarnate slash Justice League Incarnate rarely goes to Prime Earth. It was only in Infinite Frontier and, you know, the subsequent spin-offs so that they were like, we need to go to the Prime Earth and get the real Justice League. We can't handle this. Mm -hmm. the most, for the most part, they, they dick around the multiverse all the time. They never deal with real Batman. Right, right. So... Okay. The multiverse is fine, but they can't go there. And they also know that, like... I, or at least they speculate Darkseid's not there either. Uh, but also, there is an Earth that they remember that was born out of Dark Knight's metal, 
which is the else world. We, we talked about it a little bit once in that episode mm. where there's this world and it's fertile and could exist and give life to something and no one did anything with it. And Scott's like, aha, that's going to be where my absolute universe goes. Oh, okay. On the else world. On the else world. And they're going to be trade there, almost like an exchange. <laughs> So the reason the multiverse is cut off is so that we can just have the absolute universe and not have to worry about it. Yes. Like, so wait, is it part of the multiverse? Dark like, multiverse or something? No. No. We're separate multiverse from the Multiverse are over there. Forget about the multiverses no, for a little while. But there is an Elseworld, and that's separate from both the dark multiverse um, and the regular multiverse. Right. Is, is Elseworld part of the multiverse? No, but it could be. It's funny because Mr. Terrific... how you define multiverse. Mr. Terrific is, is, is trying to explain it, and he's like, it's easier if I have like a map. <laughs> like a map of the multiverse to kind of point out where it is. Right. But Grant didn't invent it, uh, so it's not on that map. <laughs> There's no multiverse as far as you're concerned. And the dark multiverse, the less said about it, the better. Because Tempest Fugonaut is not selling books. He's Alpha dead. World, it's over there. He's dead. Yeah. There is no Tempest Fugonaut. D- forget about all that. I want you to focus on the else world now. Yes. Also called the Alpha World. Also called the Absolute Universe. So it's got right. like three particular designations. Sweet. When we discovered it originally, we weren't able to, to figure out like what... It was, but we did determine that it was like primordial. It was still like in a state where it could be defined. Mm. And now we've discovered that it is crackling and radiating with the energy of dark side. So we believe the dark side is on the else world or alpha world. Okay. And How's that so, possible? We just killed him. Well, well like they, they didn't, he disappeared. Or they, they didn't even believe he was dead in the first place. Yeah. So they're like, all right, well then we need to go there and find dark side. And <sighs> maybe just leave him alone. Maybe just leave him there. But well, we'll see what happens when we do that. Yeah, we can't leave him alone on a planet. Just doing he'll, stuff. He'll get power and somehow come back. Right. right. We have to know. Yeah, we got to know. We got to stop it right now. This is our first mission. It's just League Unlimited. So uh, Mr. Terrific basically says, no one can go except for Booster Gold because tachyons and stuff. So Booster Gold's like, okay, I'm in. And so Booster Gold's like, I will go there. And they're like, all right, we'll use our machines to like send you there for 10 minutes and then you can come back. As long as you have skeets. You'll be able to come back. Okay. And so. Okay, so something's gonna happen to Skeets. Yeah, of course. So Booster Gold <laughs> jumps through the rift itself, and then falls through it, arrives, and by the way, pulls a full Terminator stance. Nice. Which I'm like, thank you. And uh, Booster Gold rises, and then realizes he's, he's wearing, not wearing any clothes. <laughs> no, he is. He is oh, still. Well, he, it's actually, not that much return. It seems like he's naked. I think his clothes oh. shift because he's wearing his like modern Booster Gold outfit. But when he arrives, he's wearing his original Booster Gold outfit. Oh. And so he sees the world, and it's like, there's the Daily Planet with a big Omega symbol on it. Does, there's fire pits. Uh-oh. Does he recognize the different costume? He does. He, he references it, I think, in the other one. Okay. Because the dialogue doesn't 100% match between Booster Gold in the Omega part or the Alpha part. It, it, he does say some of the same things, but sometimes he says different things. Which I'm like, really? So uh, so he's like, okay, I can't find Skeets, but you know what? I'm a big time superhero. I will just do my, I'll gather my information with my own suit, and then I'll find Skeets and send a warning to the League. Then he is attacked by Omega Beams. He skillfully avoids them somehow, even though no one can avoid the Omega Beams. Um, he's just standing there. The, ev- the Omega Beams avoid him. I mean, he jumps out of the way. I'm talking about that. Yeah, but that's on his. That's on their way over to him. He he says yikes because he knows they're coming. Yeah, they're gonna come back around it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so the tr- so the Trinity's kind of like, well, all right, that's that's long enough. We should just go back there and get him. Booster Gold can't handle this mission. And uh, then, as Booster Gold is attacked by Dark Side, time shifts, and so we go back to before Booster Gold volunteered for the mission. So as far as the Trinity is concerned, Booster Gold never left for the mission. Okay. So now Booster Gold is separated from Skeets and trapped on this crazy world. And and they don't know he's there. And they don't know he's there. So Booster because he's still with them because they're back in the past before he left. No, he's he left. Oh. And then time so, shifts. So Booster Gold so has was, left. He always so left. So he had always left? But the so team never, never knew that him? he did leave. D- so to, to them, does he disappear? Or is that he was never in the Watchtower to begin with? As far as they're concerned... Because Booster Gold comes in when they talk about tachyons and crap. After they have this conversation. Wonder okay. Woman says, we're going in there. Batman says, I advise against that. Superman says, let's talk. 
The team oh, was so like, like everyone was dispersed. Yeah. And then they call Booster Gold back in. Well, Booster Gold calls himself back in, and then they have the conversation, he jumps into the rift. Now that time has shifted, he already did jump in the rift, but time on the regular on Prime Earth has rolled back. So Booster Gold never volunteers for the mission, but he already did, so he's gone. As far as they're concerned. Like, time doesn't necessarily go back as much as their time rolls back. Like, Booster Gold is they oh, there. Oh, they're like the U.S. with Daylight Savings Time, whereas the rest of the world continues on. <laughs> yes. But what do they perceive happened to Booster Gold? They don't see Booster Gold. Booster Gold must have left after the commotion. Uh, yeah, like, they don't have okay. question it. He's just, oh, he's not okay. here for some reason. All yeah. Right. He never volunteers for the mission. No one saw him leave, no but we never really think about it or worry about exactly. it because he's Booster Gold. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but Booster I'm notices... I'm sorry, why would we send him on this? He's Gamma Tier. Well, exactly. So Booster Gold notices that Darkseid is wearing a special ring, which looks a lot like his Legionnaire ring, but with an Omega symbol over it. Mm. So we flip it over. We go into the Omega issue. Darkseid is on Apocalypse... And he is vexed because after the events of Dark Crisis, there was this huge energy surge, and it causes. And Darkseid was under the thrall of. We'll get into that later. Mm -hmm. Let's just say Darkseid was a pawn okay. for the first time in his life. What vexes you, my lord? <laughs> so, Darkseid is like upset by this new vantage point in his life as a result of having been shaken by this by this energy surge from Dark Crisis. Something crazy happened, big explosion, he's like, whoa, wait a minute. And so he has this like new- he got sense knocked into him or something? Kind of, where he's, well, uh, a new purpose, more or less. Where he's like, wait, there's, there's more. And because Scott is instrumental in this, I also have to assume this is about story. And that this is like actually about like being creative. Mm. And that basically Darkseid's like, wait, I am a one-dimensional character who only wants to either control everybody or destroy everything. And but like, but what if I have what ideas? What have I been doing with my life? Right, but like, what if I have ideas? What if I want to make stuff? Like, wh wh where is there room in the universe for me? And basically, the universe is like, no. He said, like, "That's fucked up. That's not fair. You can't tell me I'm not creative." And they're like, "Well, but you aren't." Go ahead, create something. Here is something right you now. Made no, they don't to want destroy. him to. You're, you, that's right. That and, is your purpose. And you're a universal constant. Right. Like you, there's, there is no duplicate dark side. The writers decided that you would merely destroy and. Ruin but no, but them. at least Grant Morrison's walking and go like, "You're a figment of someone else's imagination." <laughs> Jack Kirby created you. Don't even worry about it. You're not real. <laughs> Whoa. You're whatever okay, the writer wants is, you to be. This is heavy. Yeah, that would have been amazing, but I'm really glad they didn't do it. So, I mean, that, that, but that's kind of dark side's approach. <laughs> he, go, he goes to the other universe. I have questions. <laughs> you have to answer these things for me. Who was that guy? Who's the and bald why guy? Am I questioning reality? <laughs> why is a Scott in charge of our primarily American universe? <laughs> we don't know. We, we don't, Nobody we, knows. We don't know why we take everything that they say as gospel truth. We don't know. <laughs> we just have we, no we power. don't know why certain. English authors are more revered than others. <laughs> we don't know why we revere English authors over American authors. We don't know. So he has new purpose, and so he uses his like evil and influence to build a machine. Because of course he does. Right, a great machine. <laughs> that is correct. It's powered by the fl Flash somehow. No, 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 he already <laughs> did that. He built a machine with Flash. This is powered by like, his malice and <laughs> his hatred for all life. More or less. And his, his will to his dominate. Will to dominate yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, but uh, he needs and, like to... fire and stuff. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. and that. But uh, but he needs He's to. He's gonna forge a ring. No, mm. no, no. Well, he does forge a ring actually, and we saw it at the end of the book. But like yeah. he, uh, but he also needs to bind himself to the machine <laughs> so the machine will work for him and him alone. He needs to bind it by blood. So he in the this, darkness. Of course. He bind, binds in the darkness. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And uh, so he, he wields this big axe and he chops off his own hand. And chops then, off his own hand. Oh, That's okay. badass. Yeah, and then he dumps the blood into the machine to bond to it. Okay. And the machine says, more needed. Because this oh. machine is so evil and so powerful that, like, more or less, you need to die in order to like, bond to it. What is the machine supposed to do? We'll oh, see. Okay, but he built it, right? <laughs> he had it built. I see. 
From like I was going to say, like he should know how much blood it requires. No, no, he's surprised by the by the amount of blood well, it requires. Well, th- that's why you got to write better specifications when you're designing. Well, no, things. this machine requires <laughs> that much blood. It's that kind of evil. Yeah, but you're the one who wanted it built. Right, but like, why would you build a machine that requires more blood than you have? Well, I, you should have told the builder is like, I only no, want it to require <laughs> it's it, the amount of blood I'm that ho- I have I'm in my ho- body. I'm, I'm hopeless. My hands are tied. Because that's the the blood that is required to make this machine bond to you is gallons. Mm, I see. Okay, but like, what if I give it a gallon today? Mm-hmm. I rest wait. for three yeah, or four probably, weeks. You could probably do that. Give it another gallon at that point. Yeah. Right. Like donating blood. I'm allowed yeah. to do it at certain points. As long as they have some cookies in between. Yeah, you could probably do that. But Darkseid has no time. I don't so, have time for that. Uh, Calabac uh, and his uh, Ain't you know, family. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's right. Calabac and his family, Granny Goodness and uh, Grail and so forth, they're like, hey, Darkseid, it's been like 52 days since you got here and you've just been kind of like over there. Like you're separated from the entire family and you're just kind of like mm. puttering around and we're kind of worried about you. <laughs> also, you just cut off your own hand. Well, just... well they, they don't even notice that he like, he's keeping it behind his back. <laughs> hey, why are yeah, you turned to the side that. like that? Can, well, I, can I see around I will the say, other side of you? That, like... is, that, is a, that is a classic dark side move. He usually has his hands behind his back. <laughs> Mm, but uh, yeah. so so Calabac's like we we weren't sure what to think, but then we understood like you were testing us to show what we could do without you, and so we scoured the galaxy for races of powerful beings. No longer is it human souls that are being manipulated into parademons. We took Zarnians and we took Thanagarians and Daxamites and, and White Martians, and we made the greatest army that Darkseid could ever wield. If they were parademons, these are paradevils. If they were pawns, these are your knights. We have built for you the greatest army that Darkseid could ever wield. And Darkseid's like, "Uh uh-huh. Send them home. Do they have blood in them? Is there blood in them? It needs to be Darkseid's blood. Oh, okay. No, 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 it has to be his blood. So he's like, all right. And Calabac is like, it's time. The heroes in absolute power, the premise of absolute power is the heroes get their powers taken away from them. Mm. Calabac's like, Earth is completely defenseless. It would be like if a nihilist decided to attack Earth during Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> They're all jerking each other off. Let's right. just get them. In this case, it's like Earth is, the heroes have been defeated by Amanda Waller. We should just, we should just roll in and take <laughs> shit over. <laughs> well, but this is happening concurrently with the other book. Haven't they all gotten their powers back already? Yeah, but it happened like, yes, but they looked 52 days ago. <laughs> so they're setting them up for a huge disaster. <laughs> well, that, it, it happens. Like, it was when only Dark- like two months ago when, and they had no powers there. Yeah, I mean, it'd be funny if Darkseid showed up on the Watchtower and he goes like, Calabac doesn't know anything. God damn it, Calabac. You dumbass. <laughs> They we all have, have their powers. And you can't even <laughs> spy on them properly. Yeah, uh, exactly. So he's like, no. And Calabac's like, oh, I don't, no! I mean, like, this is what you do. You roll in and you take shit over with big, crazy arms. I don't even know you anymore. Yeah, right. And he's like, have you forgotten who you are? And Darkseid's like, maybe I have. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I saw some crazy shit. I felt the surge of power. And now I suddenly feel different. And I know that... Whatever it is that I seek has to be alone, and I don't need any of you. And, oh. And Calabac's like, no! Like he, uh, Darkseid, no, you don't get to just walk away! Yeah, Darkseid fires Omega Beams at them, but not in them, mm. just, to, just to make them scatter. And Calabac's like, no! We're blood! We belong together! And he's like, you know what, Calabac? You're right. I have a very important mission for you. And so he takes the stump of his severed hand, and he plunges it through Calabac's body. <laughs> and then he god. flings Calabac's body into the great machine. Oh my god. And the great machine says bonding complete. That's all I needed. One more body. Well, I One needed your body. I needed my blood and my blood is in you. Yeah. So there okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Thanks Calabac. <laughs> wow, you really you really helped me out one last time. So, with you're, the, you're the hero of this book, Calabac. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Calabac. So, uh, with the machine complete, but now I need this other element to complete my quest. And that quest, of course, as we know from the Alpha issue, is the Spectre. He's looking for the Spectre. Right. So he goes to hell. And so Darkseid is just wrecking hell, <laughs> demanding to know where he is. And of course, the whole if you read the Omega issue first, which I actually ended up doing, uh, you don't know who he's looking for. Right. And hmm. no one tells you who it is until they find him. Right. But uh, Darkseid is like, where is he? 
and he's like kicking the shit. Like Neron, the devil himself, is just like in a pile with the rest of them. Like, oh, like <laughs> Darkseid is not fucking around. Mm. And so inevitably, Blaze, the other demon hierarchy of hell itself, she's like, enough. Here's the deal, Darkseid. Call off the quest. Don't look for who you are looking for. And I promise to align myself with you. I will bring the hordes of hell itself to the surface, join with your army, and we will take over. We will punish your enemies. We will bring damnation upon creation. And Darkseid's like, that is a tempting offer, but no. <laughs> and so he leaves and goes to heaven, where he starts wrecking shit there. Now we know that heaven is also like a realm in the DC universe. <laughs> Zariel was a member of the Justice League, thanks to Grant Morrison. And Zariel appears before Darkseid. It's like, he's not here. Stop wrecking everything. <laughs> it's like a hell paradise. You. Knock it off. And he's like, just tell me where he is. And he's like, okay. Can you imagine all the people in heaven suddenly seeing like, him? Ah! Like, I thought we were safe. I can tell you right now, like my grandparents are not going to understand what the hell's happening. Well, I don't understand <laughs> what the hell's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Darkseid's wrecking shit, and uh, Zariel's like, we, there are rules, there, there are rules. I, we can't, like, join up, I, I can't do what Blaze promised, but we will give you peace. We will bring you your wife back. Darkseid had a wife. I didn't know it. I didn't know that. Yeah. And she's in heaven? Yeah. Well, she died. Was she a good person? Sure, but, like, <sighs> yet she, 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 I would say she earned a place in heaven because Suli calmed dark side mm. she did begat calabac but okay what good is pouring a glass of water in a volcano well <laughs> she, but she, no she, she no she, it was more like it was like more like pouring like like an ocean into a volcano yeah like, no she calmed dark side like yeah. dark side calmed down it's only when she was killed that, that he, he went back more. into being dark side and even more worse than he was before right but for a, for an instant he's offered paradise and an opportunity to be reunited with suli and he's like and then her soul appears and she's like, I beg you, my lost love, my husband, stop all of this and take my hand. And Zariel goes, you play a crucial role. Be at peace with that. You're, you're already dark side. You don't need any more. It's okay. Mm. And he says, it's tempting, but I'm done with illusions and I must go. So then he goes to the dark side of the moon. Yeah. Now, <laughs> there's actually this cool like plot element that has occasionally been referenced throughout history, which is that occasionally dark side and Eclipso play chess. Mm. And so we're getting a little reminder of that once again. So Eclipso is setting up the board. Darkseid appears before him, screams out his name, and Eclipso is like, oh, are you ready to continue? <laughs> this and is how you normally show up, screaming. Screaming your head off and a, appearing before me. And a I don't know why. I invite you cordially every time. Exactly. Yeah. But, and you never RSVP. Well, because, you know, if we remember our history with Eclipso and the Heart of Darkness, he is the Angel of Death. He's, he's pre-Spectre. Mm. He's actually like, more extreme than Spectre, right. which is why he's relegated to being like a, a, a moon goblin instead of being like the, uh, you know, angel of death. Mm -hmm. And Darkseid's like, I, you know, you and I both know that our time for games is long over. And Eclipse is like, well, your move. So Darkseid mm -hmm. attacks him, and Eclipse is like, you're in my world now, bitch. <laughs> and so <laughs> looks like he can control Darkseid's Omega, Omega beams. beams. Yeah, that's how powerful Eclipse can be. <laughs> So yeah, because I mean, in the darkness, in, in the dark side of the moon. So he like wields it and then just drags dark side deeper into the moon, and he's like, "I understand. I know what happened, and I know what you're looking for. I know why, and I can tell you that like you're not gonna get it. And instead, you're gonna be locked away in my heart of darkness for a thousand years. And you'll be my plaything." Okay. And dark side's like, "No, I'm only your plaything for the next fifteen seconds." And Clips was like, well, "What do you mean?" He's like, "That's what I set the boom tube." And he's like, "What?" Darkseid set up a boom tube in the heart of a sun. Huh. And so when the boom tube triggers, it just unleashes the sun into Eclipso. And like bathes him in light on oh, it's perfect. <laughs> oh my God. God. Checkmate, says Darkseid. Oh, That's awesome. His game is finished. This but, classic long-standing rivalry but, between these two characters. But is, did you want to annihilate him? Like. Yeah. What was the point of that? Well, I thought you were I, looking well, for the Well, I was constantly Spectre. getting checked. Is thing. And I couldn't beat him, so I figured I would just well, destroy I, the game. That's true. I came yeah. to ask him to help me find the Spectre, but then he started punching me, and so well, I killed him. Look, I didn't get here with no information. I know the Spectre is here. 
Oh. And I prepared the you're sun. You're just in my way. You're in the way. You're going to fight yeah. me. Right. Because the Spectre is Eclipso's prisoner. So Dark Side, I mean that kind of makes sense because Eclipso was the Angel of Death before the exactly, Spectre. Exactly. So he's like, well, if I want to be relevant again, I gotta take the Spectre <laughs> off the board. And that's fair, yeah. So Dark Side pulls on like this, like you know, crazy chain that's keeping a, a tomb sealed beneath the ground, and he finds Jim Corrigan, the Spectre. Jim Corrigan was a former cop who was also bottom with the Spectre. A Terminator Two reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right because the, that's where they keep the the cache of weapons at the Salceda Ranch. So, Darkseid finds the Spectre, Jim Corrigan, the vessel of the Spectre, and the quintessence arrives. And they say something that is hilarious, because they say, Darkseid, this is where it ends, because the quintessence is here, and any number of us, any one member of the quintessence could destroy you. Except, unless you read Infinite Frontiers number zero, where Darkseid literally kills the entire quintessence. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't think they were a thing anymore. No, no, no. They came back to life after Dark Crisis was over. Oh, okay. And now they're here, and they forgot that they were killed by Darkseid in the beginning. Right. In the first so they're acting like that never happened. Uh, well, uh, I bet yeah. they'll remember it real quick. But the, here's the thing about that. We don't even need to beat you because you can't bond with the Spectre. Because the Spectre has to also be a willing participant. Hmm. If like, the Spectre uh, doesn't want to bond with you, then you won't bond with the Spectre. Well, what if I just, what if I just wore his cloak? <laughs> And had a cool axe hand, and which had, I and do. Had my axe hand, I already got my axe hand. Then everyone will just assume I bonded with the Spectre. Right. Even Superman would assume that I bonded with the Spectre. Like, immediately, upon seeing me, he'd be like, Whoa, he bonded with the Spectre! Well, you look just like the Spectre! It's like, you do not. <laughs> uh, Spectre wears green and I wear purple. No, yeah. I'm, I'm Superman, I could, like, feel it or whatever. No, you look like a weird McFarlane action figure variant of Darkseid. <laughs> who has a cool axe hand and wears a dope cloak. There's, there's nothing Spectre about you. Anyway, so uh, they're like, you can't. You can't! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You can't! You can't bond with Spectre! And Darkseid is like, that's why I built the Miracle Machine. It's the Miracle Machine? It's the literal Miracle Machine. It's the, well, it's... Well, it's his version it's of his it. Version it's his version of it. It's his blood-draining version of it. Yeah. And I wish that I were bonded with the Spectre. <gasps> and they're like, <laughs> oh! oh no! <laughs> And so the Spectre just pulls out of Jim Corrigan, and he's like, stop, don't do this! And Dark's like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it's already done! It's already, already done! It. And so while he is bonding with the Spectre, the Spectre sends Darkseid to the Watchtower. He's like, maybe the superheroes will stop it. Oh, what does that have to do with the card, though? What indeed? Well, the card is part of it. Okay. <laughs> I know that. I'm saying, in what way is I, it part of it? I know. Okay. So Darkseid appears before them, and he's like, oh, you want to fight? Let's go. But I'll, you'll tell me uh, what's been taken from me. Now that I'm the Spectre, I'm powerful enough to fight out. And like, Spectre like, stop. Also, Scott loves to call Darkseid Uxus because that's his name. Uh, oh. But like, it's Darkseid, man. Like, you don't need Nobody to use every time. Like, well, only the elder beings call him Uxus, and I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, that's fair. But like, they don't all have to do it. Like, it's yeah, like, that's my name. Don't wear it out, man. Come on, I've gotten so much Darkseid is, Darkseid does, Darkseid shall ever be. It's, that's true. You call me Uxus, it, it undermines the whole thing. It's true. So he's just like, dude, you're like, you're a constant in the, you're a constant. Every time that like, you die, you are reborn. Mm -hmm. There is no other duplicate of you in the multiverse except when there are, but forget that. Just don't worry about that right now. Don't worry about that at all. <laughs> Like and and like you'll be here at the end of things. Like you've got a big role to play. Right. Just be happy with You're that. You're the best in your row. You don't need to also be the Spectre. It's, you don't That's, need to be the well. You don't need to have this weird quest greedy. to do stuff. Yeah. Right. You don't need to do anything. Just sit back. Just enjoy. Yeah. Right. Just, just enjoy being part like of you, it. Like you, you embody dark energy. You like are evil. You make evil things. Maybe that's his problem. He's like, but I don't want someone else to define what I am. More or less. You know, he's like, look at Superman. Superman is like the embodiment of hope and he radiates like hopeful energy. Like he is, and of course, we're also tying this in with like- Yeah, he, but he's just as trapped in that archetype as you are Yeah, but yours. he knows his place. He doesn't complain about it. Right. And Jeff Johns will also do like big events where he's the epicenter of the Omniverse. Like he represents the hope and joy of the universe right. that is created. Darkseid's like, why can't I represent the center of a publishing initiative or major event? Yes. Yeah. I should be as as metatextually important <laughs> as Superman to is. the universe as Superman is. Because like, there's all these other Supermen. 
Yeah. You got different universes, Supermans. There's only one dark side. Right, right. Shouldn't I be more important? Yeah, could, well, couldn't there be a cowboy dark side? No, he doesn't care about like, the multiverse, <laughs> but he is like, <laughs> why is there no cowboy dark side? It's not fair. I want dark side I by have, gaslight. I have I to be the same in every universe? That that's, sucks. That's so boring. There's, why can't there be cool looking variants of me? Right, but he doesn't want that. No, he, he doesn't want He wants that. to create. <laughs> right. Because like even the Spectre, like he jumps on to, like, when, when Superman attacks and like, fights Darkseid, Spectre jumps into Superman and he's like, it's your role, it's it's an honor to be this. And Darkseid says, what if I want more? Mm. And so... What if uh, I don't want to know my place? What right. If I wanna... well, what if I want to like make things? It's like not enough that I want to, that I am a creation. What if I want to create? This is dangerous territory because like, am I supposed to feel bad for sympathize him? with Darkseid? I mean, I would because if you like any of the Absolute books, you should because he made them. Right. So, you know, I mean, like, they better have a big plan for Darkseid. Like, what he's going to be and do when all of this coalesces. Because otherwise, it's just, like, sad. I don't want any Darkseid is right shirts. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> right? Because you're, make, you're, you're causing people... Because his fundamental, like, desire to create is something that many people feel and it's like why can't i be a creator so it's like are, yeah uh, but are but you're putting it, that idea in dark side so you're saying well no it's actually a bad thing and you should stay in your lane because that also sucks that sucks that's too. like a that's a weird thing to say right. but also like if you like if you worship dark side and you agree with him you know what i mean like yeah what, what will you create right like but anything you create will be horrible and monstrous yeah I think it's just the idea that, like, the need for creation, the yeah. need to want to is do that kind in of all living things. It's, in, it's universal. universal. Yes. Right. Even Dark Side wants So, right. like, when he says, like, oh, I want to create now, why don't I get that chance? It's going to, like, sway some people and be like, yeah, he should be able to get well, that. And, yeah. and, and, okay, so, like, going even deeper than that, he did. You had a wife. You mm, made children. That's true. You and you it. killed one of them to get to, like, make comic oh. books. Like, that's not the right path. Yeah. Like you you miss you 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 misunderstood the lesson, and it could be like a caution against like I mean we're going really deep in the weeds here, but mm. it could be about like people who have ill intentions that also f want to be creative, you know, and they don't mm. know that like what they would create would be like an abomination <laughs> or would be like inherently bent towards their own beliefs mm. you know I, I don't know I, I don't know what like but but there is something deeper there which is fun to to, to speculate on but dark side sees like everything like he, as he's like exploding and stuff like he sees like who <laughs> he was where he's been every fight he's ever had every fight he'll ever he will ever have he's like I'm like it's boring I've seen it all here's everything I'll ever do and everything I've ever done and you yeah, already could, got it and you could write it you could and you and you've seen it like you you could guess what they all are Spectre finally says no that's what you are dark side is and dark side says no dark side was thank you dark side ends and so he explodes and when he is reborn he is reborn because like when dark side dies he, he, he comes back he's, reborn, yeah. he's he is a universal constant he is reborn on the else world and so as a result the else world or alpha world is infused with Darkseid's energy. It's outside of the Omniverse. It's not part of the world that Superman influ influences. Because Superman's, ra you know, his energy makes for, like, all the heroes are hopeful, you know? There's always going to be, like, a Robin or something, you mm -hmm. know, or whatever, you know? But, uh, except yeah, for the Yeah, there's something he symbolizes. Yeah, but he, but, like, what about a world that radiates Darkseid energy, that comes from Darkseid's inherent Stuff right. where the uh, Superman we already of have that, that it's universe a is dark. Planet side. that shoots fire out of six sides. That's there. apocalypse, and he inherited that world because it was made for him. This is a world that he made, yeah. and so as a and result, like, Earth like, is like the most important planet in my universe, and I don't, I'm not from there, yeah. and I don't get to influence it. Like, what if, what if I was the Superman of a universe? That's it. Yes, and so as a result, like Wonder Woman was born in hell. But she's still Wonder Woman. So what does... So she's good. So she's good or tries to do good in a world... But like... And so, you know, everything is different and darker, but also still... Tr they are who they are. These are universal constants as well. Mm -hmm. Like Wonder Woman. Right, Superman. there has to be a Wonder Woman. Yeah, there has to be Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman and stuff. So like, and what do they do in these worlds? And where do they go from here? And even though they start at like a place from Darkseid's 
energy and perspective, can they still find hope? There is a big hand here. Which also is reminiscent of like the hand of creation cr making the DC universe. Right. But it's dark sides. But it's dark sides, yeah. Hand. And so we see, you know, mm. like instead of raised in, like, I mean, and the, the, th the, the themes of, Diana was raised in paradise. They called it Paradise Island. So instead she's raised in hell. And that's where hell she comes Island? From. No, no, hell itself. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, but Batman has no advantages. And so as a result, he is an agent of chaos. Like this Batman is an anarchist who rails against the system instead of being part of the system like Batman kind of is. Like Batman and uses guns. <laughs> no, yeah, but he doesn't use guns. He still hates guns. Oh. Uh, and Superman, what, what does that make for Superman? A world where hope is the underdog, hope will have to burn brighter than ever to survive at all. Like what does that make for a Superman? Because hmm. Superman is the epicenter of the world. This is a world that makes a Superman, but he's not the center of the universe. Right. He isn't even like influencing it. Right. He's what, not even really able to like surmount his like obstacles. No. At least not as easily as Superman does. Exactly. Yeah. And and he doesn't influence the world, so it's not like he has a leg up. Right. Because the world is inherently hopeful. So is he is he weaker? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find like, how out. How does that mechanically work? Right. We'll find out. I, mean, I, like, I would assume it means like. He's still just as strong as he always was, but the forces are always against him. Yes. Yeah, like Lex Luthor wins the fight more of the time. Probably, or, <laughs> or just like he or has to, version. or he loses more whenever he wins. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like Spider-Man. Every time, every time he wins, he loses. Yeah. Uh, but this is a world, this is a reality, according to God. Like, but Darkseid's like, you know, this is a world that's still kind of like solidifying, but above all, it's mine. It's mine. I made this. It's a reality where I can finally become what I was meant to be. And when I am him, when I will be good, when I am dark side, when I finally am formed, I will go back to that other world and crush it. <laughs> and so then Booster Gold appears and he's like, oh, I can't find Skeets. I'm gonna da 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 da. I find dark side. Oh my God, he's shooting me with the Omega Beams. Oh my God, he's wearing a Legionnaire ring, but it's got an Omega symbol on it. What does that mean? And dark side says, finally, I have my army. And the double page splash that is in both is that dark side rules the Omega Legion the Legion of Superheroes itself is ruled by Darkseid and infused with their Darkseid energy. Wait, why is the Legion of Superheroes here at all? Right. Aren't well, they from f in the future? They're from the future of Prime Earth. The implication is that Darkseid influences the future. Like, he wins. And as a result, he can control it. Because the Legion of Superheroes is like a representation that says that everything's going to work out. Mm -hmm. Because eventually there's going to be this big bright future right. full of colorful characters like Bouncing Boy. Yeah, so if you and see so dark versions of them. That means that things did not work out. Yeah. And so you get dark side influenced versions of the Legion. Okay. Interesting. So we know that things are... Because because remember, dark side is like, I'm going to go back. And so right. presumably he does win. And so the other implication here is like, so you're gonna read all in and have fun and there's gonna be crazy fun new stories that are not gonna have anything to do with dark side or energy or the else world or anything. You're gonna watch Green Arrow go on merry adventures and Wonder Woman do stuff because Tom King's writing her and so it's gonna be sad. But <laughs> also over on the absolute universe, they're gonna be doing their own thing. You know, we're gonna right. see crazy new versions of the Joker and you know, Cheetah and stuff. But presumably they're gonna, they're gonna intersect. Right. The dark side's gonna like come back with his army. Could be the Legion of Superheroes or the Omega Legion, or maybe Dark Side's gonna bring the the absolute Justice League, Justice League and kick the shit out of the real Justice League, or destroy it, or maybe there'll be some. Mm. some That's just it. Like no, the, right. the absolute Justice League are still like good people. Right. Yes. They're not gonna like listen to Dark Side, but what if they do? Because they're born from Dark Side's energy. Like they're his progeny. I feel I mean, like they're gonna be like like. In rebellion against of him, course, yeah. but they'll just be losing most of the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder. And then they're gonna try and like get with Booster Gold, and Booster Gold will be like, "No, there's a place where like it's better than this. We have to connect with them." Yeah, I mean, but I can't find Skeets. But I gotta find Skeets. Well, where's Skeets? There'll be like a whole. Maybe there'll be a whole book about Booster Gold looking for Skeets. Maybe Dark Side will like manipulate them, mm -hmm. like trick them into thinking like, "Hey, this other world's out there. They they want to destroy you. They think you're wrong and yeah. bad." Yeah. Or we're gonna get like a Secret Wars. Where like there'll be an incursion, you know, mm. and it'll turn into kind of like a war, yeah. and maybe one Earth will be destroyed. Only w oh, look, one world's getting destroyed. Like yeah, and like yeah, listen, if Absolute Batman outsells regular Batman, that means that they're gonna win. Yeah, like for a few. Well, years. and right, and, and then there'll be a reboot. And Absolute an Superman should want you want to protect your world, don't you, Absolute Superman? Yes, you came from here. Like, Lois is from here. So if regardless like of whether like I'm bad, 
Yeah. Like, you need to save the world. Exactly. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. Right? It's that's also your, that. That's your role, Superman. Yeah. Stay in it. Don't mess yeah, around with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Like, don't worry about that other world. That yeah. other world, you know... The, it had its shot. Yeah. <laughs> and Darkseid selected it for extinction. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's... it's Got some big, crazy implications. The Omega Legion I did not see coming. I was like, what? Yeah, what? And that was a head scratcher because I was like, oh, I mean, it makes sense. If yeah, because just... Booster Gold is the main character. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but like, but that's arbitrary. <laughs> yeah. So this is just as arbitrary. Yeah. That you pick them. Except for what you said were like, but they do symbolize like the hope of the future. Yes. And so it's kind of cool when you see them turned into... Dark side version. Right. And it's like, oh man, like look at these classic characters that Sal thinks are boring and lame. <laughs> look at how much cooler they are with Omega symbols on them. And maybe they'll be like acting cooler too. Who I knows? know, but they're from the future, so it's just a little bit confusing, is all. It's like, wait, what time is this happening? Yeah. In? Yeah. Right. Well, I is assume... this a vision of the future no, of Dark Side's is... universe, or is this happening right now? Booster Gold went to the future. Yeah, and he sees them. Because oh, Dark Side's the... fully formed now. Oh. So I'm assuming that Booster Gold goes to the future oh. and he encounters Darkseid who's been ruling for a while. Yes, I see. Okay. Yeah, he goes back to his own time. Yeah. But it's the Darkseid version of it because it's skewed into an alternate time. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. see. So or that, is, gonna, that so, is the future. Like, so when you're that's why the abs- card looks like, has the Omega symbol on it. Yeah. It will eventually become okay. like right. Darkseid. So you're seeing a vision of what's going to happen. Yes. Not that like absolute Batman is going to be set in a future where the where dark side is in charge and right, the legion and, of superheroes are ruled oh, by dark side there's an unnatural flow of time there yes in the absolute universe oh so maybe things can happen at the same or time that in yeah. our universe would have been it's separated both. by yeah. hundreds of years yeah but I, I think it's more that like we are seeing the future of the DC universe like we're seeing the legionnaire future yeah and that future is dark right because dark side does win yeah yeah, and probably the the implication here to me is that like, okay, we're see, we're skipping ahead. We're showing you like where things are going. Yeah. When you read Ultimate or Absolute Batman, the Legion of Superheroes are not going to. They're show not going to be in it. They no. will be in a book later on yes. where we like bring everything together. Yeah, because I can't imagine them like locking in Jason Aaron and Kelly Thompson to like write cool new versions as Wonder Woman and Superman, and also have to shoehorn Booster Gold and the Legion of Superheroes. In <laughs> right. Right. No, that's what we're doing later in later. another event. Yeah. yeah. And you won't have to write it. Like, Scott yeah. will write it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you write your books, and I'll, I'll work it in. I'll yeah. make it work. with Whatever you guys, you do what you want to do. Right. And just know that, like, it is going to end up here, but I'll figure that out. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... That, that's cool. I it's like cool. That. It's a neat idea, yeah. it, and it doesn't, like, show its cards all the way. Like, right. you don't really yeah. know where it's all going. Yeah, it's like, wait, what? Yeah. yeah. But it's neat. And, and uh, I'm, I am very excited about the Absolute Universe. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Well, I, we're going to get some crazy tie-ins. Or, I'm sorry, spin-offs? Whatever they're they're their books. own books. They're, yeah. We're gonna get a whole new universe. Yeah, just like it's like Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, Ultimate Avengers. Yep. This is Absolute, absolute Batman, Batman, Absolute Wonder Woman. It's its own thing. Yep, we're gonna get Absolute Flash. We're gonna get Absolute other characters as well. The funny thing is that at the exact same time that they announced the Absolute Universe, DC also changed their logo to be the old logo from the 80s and 90s. So you know, even though we're going in a bold new direction. Uh, all the branding is going to be from the old logo that That's Sal weird. likes more. That's weird, but I was okay. thrilled to see the Bullet logo return, though. It is cool. It's a like, good logo. Yes! Yeah. That's the logo. That is a logo. Hmm. The old logo, right. which was also a logo in the 70s, least. was like, just, it's just a font. Hmm. Oh, but it was more versatile. Yeah, but remember when, like, our logo was almost like a page turning? <laughs> 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 I sure do. And I'll bet it was hella expensive. I bet that you caught that that marketing team just took you for every penny to make an idea that people went, what? And then they retired. It's like the quickest logo in DC's history. And by the way, I appreciate it. The page turning logo, I appreciate the the thought. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. You remember mm. it where it's... Yeah, I it's, remember it. As soon as he said it, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, uh, and the, the flap had like the book that you were reading under it. Like yeah. that was the brand. Yeah. And the C was implied. Yeah, that... No. It just... You know what? It just... It just... It got away from you. It was, it was, a, it was too big an idea. It's too high concept. Too high concept. It was too high concept. Meanwhile, honestly... It's for a logo. It, it needs to be on everything. 
the, it the, doesn't work if it's not on a book. No, no, the most recent DC logo, honestly, like the fact that it was like a sans serif font, mm -hmm. it meant it could go on anything. Yep. Like comic books, movies, lunch boxes, uh, Yeti mugs, it could go on anything. A hat, and you're good. It, it's so versatile. It's cool and fun for like an event like this. I like weirdly don't hate it. Yeah. I am a little disappointed that we don't get anything about the ultimate or absolute characters. Absolutely. No, I agree. It's like the whole book's about Dark Side. But they just uh... show you like every absolute Trinity member gets a full page and they half explain what it is. You know, yeah, like but... she's born in hell. He doesn't have any money. And Superman is glowy. And you're just kind of like, and it's just harder. Yeah. And you're like, what? I don't know what that means. That I, one's, I, I understood the first two. But that last one sounds like you didn't have it fully formed. Right. But you did Although, because he looks like that. I, I also don't quite understand the Batman one. All his advantages are gone. Like what? He's not rich anymore. But you already did that. What? You already made him not rich. Oh yeah. But he it was, wasn't like yeah, this. He was kind of rich. <laughs> he started off rich. Oh, yeah, no, I Batman see. was always rich. This is a, What if this he was a, never rich? Yes, what if he was the son of a teacher? Well then he'd be dead. Uh, he'd die right away. Well. Not if he was eight feet tall and 600 pounds. So he's Bane. I mean, he's as big as Bane, but he doesn't cheat. Right, but that's Bane's background. Bane doesn't have any advantages. He's not rich. That's true. He's just wreckingly huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't earn his muscles. So this mm. Batman works out. No, what no. Is, he's the Batman Bane lips. earned his muscles. No. Bane just juiced on top, on top of, of the yeah, muscles. He, he would, but yeah, but Bane is as buff as everyone in the DC universe when they right, started out. He wouldn't out. have been able to like break Batman's back. That's true. If he had Bane had was buff in Vengeance of Bane. Like when they first introduced Bane, he is buff, but he's not back-breakingly buff. Neither is this Batman. That uh, he's bigger than Bane. Also, his chest emblem becomes an axe that he can wield and chop <laughs> people's hands off. That's another thing. That's pretty badass. That's pretty cool though. And his ears become batarangs that he throws at people. Oh, oh no, I get the axe thing. Because when he was in school, everyone was like, may I ax a question? <laughs> yeah, because in the East Coast. He's just like, God damn it! Is, yeah. is, is Absolute Batman gonna be fighting like the like mutants from <laughs> No, from this is Wes Dark Craig's Returns? interpretation of oh. like roving gangs and whatnot. I see. Yeah. I should say, I have read Absolute Batman and it's friggin' cool. Yeah? I'm like very impressed Does with how take cool the it bus? is. He is a bus. <laughs> he is the bus. He has he has a motorcycle. Okay, it's like the cheapest transportation you can get. I get it. Yeah. Except it's not. No, I mean all the maintenance you need to do on them. Yeah, no, I mean like the cheapest mode of your, the, the cheapest mode is your feet. <sighs> what? <laughs> what is the specter in here for? The specter allows him to essentially be more powerful. The Spectre knows the secret that was like kind of hidden from him. Okay. The secret that, about like that, that he can create. There is an opportunity for you to make something. We just don't want you to. Mm, I see. Now, does he create in the absolute universe, like, or was that like something there and he just like reshaped the that Elseworld world? existed, but it was in a primordial state. So when Darkseid was killed in the main reality and then reborn on the absolute or on the else world, it then solidified. It was it was still in a position where it could be anything. It could be influenced. Yes. Like and it, he got to influence it. Exactly, okay. Exactly. It's not like he just snapped his fingers and, and then a new planet ex Yeah, no. Okay. Mm, okay, so basically he wanted to merge with the Spectre so he could like force Spectre to like explain some stuff to yes. him. Yes. Yeah. And, and he knew that Spectre was never going to do that. And take him to a place where he could uh get be it. influential. Yeah. Daniel Samper and Wes Craig's art are awesome. Yeah, the they, books look great. They kill it. Uh, Wes Craig's Dark Side story is so cool and fun and like gritty and visceral, and it like represents Dark Side in such a fundamental way that I'm like, yes, that's what I think of when I think of Dark Side. Uh, Sam Pear's hopeful, bright, you know, kind of grounded art also really delivers. I, I love it. And then of course we we don't blend the two in any way, but like the double page splash is by Dan Mora, and it's just kind of like, and we all love Dan Mora, so we're just happy to see that too. That's pretty cool, <laughs> isn't it? All right, yeah. Do you think Dan Mora's art is the one that's going to continue in the Absolute books? No, no, no. Each each book has a different artist on oh, okay. it. Okay. Um, again, Hayden Sherman's doing Wonder Woman. Um, but there has to be like a single title that's going to unify all of them, right? No. Not well, not yet. Right now, it's you're just getting Absolute Batman, Absolute Superman, Absolute Wonder Woman, eventually Absolute Flash, and Absolute other characters eventually. But uh, and then. I'm assuming there'll be like an absolute Justice League, but I don't know. 
And with DC, there's no like, where is Booster Gold issue one? Like, there's no core book. When they say it's going to be continued in the absolute weird. end main DC universe, I, I don't know what that means. Because like this is a this is a story that's getting you into that universe. Yeah. But now this story that we read doesn't really continue. No. No, well it, it just it's just a jumping on point. Like this book if you were just like fresh off the boat and you're like I want to read a new Batman book, but I want to read any other books to prepare myself for Batman. Here's absolutely Batman number 1 go for it. Oh, cool. Okay, great. But read this first, too. No, no, no. You don't know. You don't not. have to. I would tell them not to. I'd be like, no, read, read Absolute Batman and just go for it. Absolute Batman's going to be its own thing. And so I would recommend if you wanted to, like, jump on board a book that has that needs no continuity or introduction, start with the Absolute Universe. This book itself is for DC fans. This is, this is a book to explain why there even is an Absolute Universe. Even though right. it requires no explanation. But it doesn't. But Marvel proved that you don't actually need an explanation. Yeah, Marvel proved it 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, DC, but we're DC. We want there to be one. And we did it already. We yeah. created Earth 1. How yeah. do we make it an event <laughs> without a jumping on point event? Well, it's not an event. It's an initiative. Sure. No, no. I mean, look, we, Betty and I used to argue about this all the time. About events and initiatives. Initiatives have a name like an event, but an event has a core story that has a beginning, middle, and end, and a numerical designation. Like an event is part one, two, three, four, five. And it's not like a sprawling, outrageous thing. People refer to the Clone Saga as an event, but it is not. That's just the status quo. Because there's no like, because there's three omnibuses. That's not an event. That's egregious. That's no thank you. Whereas with this, it's the same thing. It's like, this is just, this is the all-in period. And the all-in period encompasses the formation of the Absolute Universe and the direction of the DC books that are happening under the all-in line. And then inevitably, someone's gonna do a book. And I'm sure there'll be a book that'll be like, okay, here, and it'll say things like energy and <laughs> alpha and all kinds of other crap. And you'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm here. Maybe it'll be called all-in two, or maybe more likely it'll be called something like I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell they're going to call it. But it'll be called uh, none something. None in. Or I fold. Or all out. <laughs> I, Read them and weep. <laughs> oh. That's not a bad... It's it's a bold new time period for DC Comics. Pew, 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 pew. Let's do this, baby. It's I'm, the Wild West of Comics. Yeah. I mean, yeah. With a whole host of names you've already heard for the last 10 years. We're going to DC Comics. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's... <laughs> All In is all in comic book stores right now. You can pick up a copy, and when you're there, you can get your handy dandy Justice League Unlimited ID card. Uh, there are going to be a couple of these, one of which will be the Omega card. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but you got to oh. buy three books to get one? Yeah, you get three DC books. Or. Yeah, but it's just going to have the Omega symbol on it. Like, what's the back? I don't know. We don't maybe, know. It'll, maybe it'll be like the Max cards, where it gives you deep behind the scenes information about the main story Ooh. that you need in order to. Follow along. Uh, Does although that mean there's a card for every character technically that should be in that watchtower. There is in the universe, but not not in available. Our universe. Like, can you imagine if they made like eighty of those? I could yeah. imagine it, but Maybe I could they not will. imagine. No, they will not. There are three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a missed opportunity! You're getting Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the and the blank card. Do you think the cards are going to continue in the main universe? I hope it's so. Like a thing. I mean, that would suck if they didn't. If they I would just be very introduced them for this one book, and then it's like, and eh, we're not doing the card thing anymore. I mean, I would hope that they're going to use those. But cards. why would the heroes want to use the cards after what happened with the? Oh, that's fair. With the dark side one. Well, I mean, that one—it's just well because it exploded at the card. You know, it's not, it wasn't the problem with the card. Right, and the we just defeat, and we defeat dark side, and he's gone. So yeah, yeah, and, and listen, those cards are really expensive, so please use them. Yeah, and now they still—they still have this crack though to deal with, right? They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the rift. DC All In Special Number One. It's in comic book stores now. Pick up a copy. I really admire like the initiative and the effort that went into it, especially knowing like I knew about this a while and I knew about like how much effort and planning went into like developing mm -hmm. the absolute the universe of it. and just making this thing. Like, making it an upside down, half upside have, down book. Yeah, and it's like smart and cool and it works and it's like it, you know. This was the thing though. Is there a scene where we see? Oh, from the other Those? side? No. No. We see that scene of them being like, no! Yeah. But I assumed it was like, it like translated perfectly. That's the perfectly. page. We're seeing through that. We're yeah, seeing you through... should be able to find that page. Exactly. 
Oh my god, that does translate perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right? Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I that's heard it was also so like hard good. to do, and I'm really impressed they pulled it off. Yeah. It seems like it would be. Which absolute DC character are you looking the most forward to? Is it Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, or some fourth option? I mentioned Flash because they said it, it will be at, Flash, the, yeah. uh, at the DC uh, panel at San Diego Comic-Con. They mentioned that they were doing Flash, showed a little bit of art. While it looks really cool, I'm excited, but uh, I want to see who else they are going to introduce. How long is this supposed to run? Yeah, I mean, how many characters are we going to have an opportunity to see? To even For right see. now, the person I'm most interested in is Wonder Woman. Yeah. The skeletal yeah, hell horse. Oh, the hell yeah. horse. The is sword, dope. come yeah. on. Yeah, no, Wonder Woman is, I am all in on Absolute Wonder Woman. Yeah. And I got to tell you, that Absolute Batman is a dope book, but Jason Aaron's Superman and Darker? Psh, it's a genius move. Yeah, I I'm wish ready. I knew anything about the Superman book because I can't tell from these images. What the like, hell? The that Wonder means. Woman image is cool, so yeah. you're, I, I'm in for that. The Superman image is like fine. Right. All I can tell you is it opens in Brazil. Interesting. I, that explains all the jungle stuff. Exactly. Okay. So you know, it's interesting. I get the influence for Superman to be on our Earth. Yeah. Like, that still works. Sure. But technically, should Hal Jordan not be a Green Lantern on our planet? Mm. In the Absolute Universe? Yeah. Well, does the core exist? Well, right. We don't it. know the anything about Green The core is Lantern. a different planet. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Okay, whenever you make an Earth and DC universe, there's a whole universe or even multiverse associated with it. I mean, at least in the Dark Multiverse. You remember so like yeah, Dark yeah. Knight's Did Metal? In the dark multiverse, yeah, because like Earth is the center of the universe or whatever. Yeah, so no, there like, are there's a universe. When, dark, when we say that Dark Side like forms Earth, as Earth, we he mean, also like, made a Thanagar and also yeah, the, an Ola. And Ola and okay, that, okay. that all that, that all comes along with that the kind Earth. Of works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there, there is implied universe along with it. It's not like the Else World is a second moon for the regular Earth, where we're yeah. like, oh, what's going on over there? Oh, a lot of explosions happening. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it. It's part of its own it's entirely its own entire, separate. Like, there's a curtain between them. Galaxy, yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, we'll see you guys next week with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Keep reading. One thing that's missing for me is like, no, but like, why? <laughs> why does Darkseid suddenly want to do this? Yeah. But I have that problem with everything. Yeah. This is a little more pronounced here because it's so quick. It, it is. They do say it's 52 days later. It wasn't that quick. Right. It's quick for you because it is instantaneous. But, yeah. Uh, and I, I didn't read the books before this. Does it? Does his character arc naturally lead him to this point from what happens in that book? I mean, he, if you recall, in Infinite Frontier and in Justice League Incarnate, Darkseid. If you recall in Dark, if you recall in Justice League Infinite, yeah. If you recall in Infinite Frontier and I believe Justice League Incarnate as well, Darkseid is, haha, <laughs> uh, but also he is interested in the great darkness. Yes. He is, yeah, and yeah, it, that whole thing is. It kind of blows up in his face. So it could be like, I mean, where do you go with Darkseid? Like after he's gotten the anti-love equation in Final Crisis, decides, okay, I don't need that, but I do want the great darkness in Dark Crisis slash Infinite Frontier. Mm -hmm. And when that doesn't work out, where do you go? You know, is it like, well, maybe I'll just fight Superman or something. Like, you know, it's just like, oh, well, that's kind of lame. I mean, right. So it's know, like, I got to create. A you know, maybe world. I'll make something. You know, it's like, what do you do? You know, when you've reached a point mm -hmm. in your life, it, you know, it could also be a <laughs> condemnation of like, you know, bored, wealthy people being like, well, I've, uh, I've, <laughs> I've, I've wept for there are no worlds to conquer. What right. am I going to do now? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll fancy myself artistic. <laughs> Maybe I'll be a painter. You know what? What did Bush do after he was uh, yeah. he was out of uh, terms? You know, yep. he, he, I got into painting. <laughs> yeah, and, he, and I'm not that bad now. You know, but it's been like 20 years, so you know. Right, right. Or what about Jim Carrey? What, what did about Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey do when he wasn't in movies anymore? Exactly. He right? made paintings. He made and paintings stuff. that no one wants to look at <laughs> because everyone just wants him to make Ace Ventura three. Just do Ace Ventura again. Do Ace Ventura again. Talk out of no. your butt. <laughs> do the mask. <laughs> <laughs>